Hello, everybody. I'm Slice, and welcome to episode 39 of All the Mods 8. Today, we're going to take a step back and start tinkering with immersive engineering. Did you know that industrial hemp does not get harvested by the harvester pilot? Who knew? To really dive into immersive engineering, one of the first things that we got to do is craft coke brick. Now, luckily, it is fairly cheap, and we don't need a ton of it. Uh, I believe it's... Uh, that much? 26, I think. Now, I did carve out a little small area that I'm planning on using for immersive engineering just to have it. Um, looks like I'm going to not use this wall for going inside of it. So let's go, let's go here. Now um, the Coke oven, uh, is pretty slow. So we're just going to let it run for a little bit. And what that's going to get us is coal Coke. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I actually need to craft the hammer, too. That, 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 that. Then let's go ahead and craft. Oh, hey, I have a workbench. Well, that's super useful. Where is that hammer? There it is. And with this, we should be able to... Do I need all of them? Ah, okay, so it is, it is 20, uh, 27. All right, so now I need coal. Luckily, I have lots of coal. Let's actually grab blocks just to get it going. I'm curious if I can time in a bottle this. I'm going to go with no. So let's might, we might as well do some other stuff then. Uh, okay. There you go. That, that'll work. What we're, our goal is eventually to get to, where did I put it? This Tesla coil. Now, a lot of this stuff we can get pretty, pretty quickly. Like these plates, they're pretty easy. Right. And then we can grab. That's pretty easy. So let's grab that. And one, two, three, four. Now, I'm not going to be able to craft this today. And the reason for that is due to this little HOP graphite ingot. It comes from using this industrial squeezer, which might be out of the scope of this episode. If I can squeeze it in, maybe, but I, I, I really don't anticipate this being a thing. So one of the first things that we need to do is grab some treated stuff, which comes from using creosote oil and planks, which you get from this. So every time this consumes a coal or a coal block, it will create a coal coke as well as creosote oil, which you can then bucket out or pipe out or something to be used here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to set up uh, a tank. So let's grab. Hey, look at that. There's a tank right there. And then we can grab a pipe. And we pull. 
pull out. Whoops, that's not what I want. And we can not overdo that. I really dislike that. that. You don't actually need to push because it would automatically do it, but this will allow for a lot of creosote oil to be put into the tank for later consumption. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually just do another coke oven. See, if we do that, that means I'm going to want to do one more this way. Just for keeping it nice and clean. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that and then figure out what to do next. It's been approximately an hour since that last clip, and I've just been sitting here waiting for the crucial to be made. Um, I have used some of it. Uh, as you can see, I have some treated stuff. I wanted to get it looking like an immersive engineering area. So what I've done is I added stairs and I changed where my mine shaft kind of goes a little bit. Uh, not that I really use that direction very much anymore, but I wanted to make sure that it was still accessible. Uh, in here, uh, I've changed things up a little bit. Notice that it's still only three there, and still only two there. Th this process for those is extremely slow. Now, the positive side to that is that it's actually more efficient to do it this way, in a way. Uh, so if you start with logs and you get charcoal out of it, you get 250 millibuckets of creosote oil. You then use the charcoal down here to get coal, coke, and another 500. Right, just from one log, you get 750 basically. Um, if you do nine of these, nine coal, Right, for a block of coal, you actually get 5,000. So you get more uh, fluid out of it, but the process is so much longer in between, you know, fills. Um, but as you can see here, I've already got 10,000 more. Uh, I'm just letting that run. Um, it did craft quite a bit of treated planks, so I figured I'd decorate in it. Uh, my goal here is to expand this way and potentially out into the open area uh, out this way, potentially, maybe, we'll see. Um, but while this is uh, cooking up some creosote oil for us, I was looking to see what was next. Um, and whew, it's a lengthy process. Let's put, let's put it that way. Um, in order to get this advanced electronic component, we need this duroplast sheet. And that is obtained by using a bottling machine and phenolic resin. Phenolic resin comes from a refinery combining, not even going to try that and creosote oil. So creosote is easy enough. This acetal, I'll go with acetal, comes from combining a silver plate and one of these four liquids. Now I was looking at which liquid might be best to get and I think I came across this bioethanol, which is a create thing, which doesn't seem too bad, right? So you've got mechanical mixer and going into a basin combining sugar and biomass. That'll get you bioethanol. Uh, and then biomass comes from doing a mechanical mixer into a basin on top of a blaze burner, combining a lot of random stuff here and an oil. And I was thinking seed oil might be useful because I get 
a lot of different seats because why not right which means a mechanical press and a basin so i had the thought of why not make like a an assembly line or two or something down this hallway leading to where the refinery uh, leading down to these two refineries right because you're going to need this refinery to combine the acetal and the creosol and then this refinery for the ethanol and the silver plate so i figured why not make two of them uh just to have them flanking on either side and should look all right uh, the problem with that is i believe these machines require energy from immersive engineering i don't know if i can transfer them i haven't messed around with that yet but these are a little bit hefty to actually get to um, let's see if i can find it okay so a refinery takes Look, I mean, it's like, I think it's three different layers. Really? You're going to stop it? Okay. Uh, you've got a lot of different blocks in here. Not only that, but then it requires um, energy from this mod. So... I think what I'm, what we're going to do is we're going to get together the create um, assembly line for the oils and whatnot. And then we'll have to come back and revisit how to do power and immersive engineering. Because if I can manage to get power that isn't immersive engineering, because immersive engineering doesn't really kick out a lot of power, at least not with some of the early stuff which I would need in order to get to the later game stuff. Um, I don't really want to do a water wheel. Uh, I might be able to if I incorporate this. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So I need to figure out what I want to do for power if I have to worry about it in the first place. Right. So let's go ahead I'm going to get the, that stuff crafted for create and then I'll bring you back for the setup process. One of the processes actually requires a blaze burner. And in order to get an activated blaze burner, you need to use these empty ones on blazes. So I'm here in the nether trying to find some blazes. There we go. Here's one. Boom. And there's one. I need to... I'm going to grab a few. As you can see, I have a total of five here. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to need overall. But I figured I'd grab a few while I'm here. I am going to attempt to combine a few things to make this work. Not 100% sure it will work. But we're going to try it. So this part is going to be for the seeds. Right? And then that's going to output uh, oil. So we have a tank for that. So let's put that there. And then we're going to have this guy. And hopefully... Does, it, does this hurt? I can't tell. Uh, we're going to have another basin. Right? So it's heated. And that's going to go into a mixer. Okay. So we're going to have seed oil compacting through a press in there, which gives us this right so I'll, I'll have to combine uh the oil that i get with like a, a grass of something so i'll have to mine up some of that maybe i can use the chorus fruit because i i am farming that with the bees 
Uh, I can also do a lot of this stuff, to be honest with you. So I'll, I'll figure that out when I get to it. Um, but then that gets used in another mixer and basin to make the bioethanol and sugar. So we're going to have another basin right there. And apparently I don't have another mixer. I only made one mixer. And then we can do that and we can craft one of these and then finally a mixer. Now, I'm also going to have to run um, like a, a some quote unquote po power to these. So I'll probably dig out that back section. Uh, but this actually gets me an item, which I don't really have. Let's just, let's just make a chest. So that way I can better organize. Okay, so we do that. And then we have this final tank for the output of that for the bioethanol. Now, I don't actually know if it can go in here, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, I assume here that I can pipe out of this. Let's see if we can do that. Yes. So we can then pull out and it'll go in there, All right? Which means I can do the same to this. As long as the fluid itself can actually go in, I think it'll be fine. Now the trick is to get all of the create uh, power down here. I think I'm just gonna create an electrical gearbox or whatever they're called. This is gonna take some tinkering. So let me, let me see about getting it actually set up and I'll show you hopefully that it's operating as intended. We have progress. It is working. Uh, it's just a little bit of a manual process though. So let's go ahead I'm gonna drop all of that in there. See, it's smashing it into, it's really hard to see, but you can see the seed oil and I have it pumping out into this basin. You then want to throw in all of that. And that should mix, I think, it was just working. Oh, I know why it's not working. And this is the part that it's gonna take me a little while to remember. This guy down here, the blaze, actually needs a burnable item. Which is great, considering that I have these over here. So eventually I'll be able to somewhat automate that. But that ends up causing these to be created, the biomass, right? And then we throw those in here. And then we can throw these. And it'll make... Oh, it didn't... Uh... Bloop. Maybe it's full. But either way, it's now producing bioethanol. Which we'll be able to use in the machines in another episode. And with that, 
we're going to leave it here. If you'd like to help the community, uh, please, please drop a like on the video and consider sharing with your friends. Don't forget to click that subscribe button for future videos. And to stay up to date, check the links below so that you can follow on your preferred platform. Uh, there's a Discord you can join if you'd like to interact with the community a bit more. Uh, I do post in there from time to time. Uh, please drop a comment. Uh, and thanks for chilling. <laughs>